What's going on everybody? Mike G here, the founder of Chrome Vending. And first of all, I just want to say happy Easter to everybody. I hope you're having a great holiday, enjoying some time with your family. Get some good eggs, some good protein in. Hey, whoa, where's Steve going? Hey, what are you doing? No! Today I just want to touch on the subject real quick about buying new machines versus buying used machines because i've been getting a lot of questions from you guys about which ones to start with and what's the pros and cons about each one so let's just get right on into this okay now there are pros and cons about buying new and buying used so i'm just going to start out by sharing with you the way that i started and what worked for me and you can kind of weigh the options the risks versus the benefits and anything you do you know you weigh the risks versus the benefits and you see what works for you little hand says it's time to rock and roll so what I did was after I originally bought my first vending machine in a thrift shop for $75 and cleaned it up and put it out when I decided to get a little more serious I wanted to buy a few more machines and I was looking for a bulk amount and what I did was I just went right on here on Craigslist and you can put in whatever city you're in and then put vending machines for sale. So what I'm going to do here is let me make sure I keep it clear. Try to keep this image clear and enter. Let's see here or search. Let's see. Hit the search button. Let's see what pops up. Okay. Ocala for sale vending machine Craigslist. So this is what I'm going to click here. Okay, we have a popcorn machine for sale for $600. Okay, candy gumball toy machines, Inverness 175. These are cities that are very close, surrounding like 30 minutes, 20, 30 minutes away. So, machine U turn terminators, you select 175. We have soda machine, we have a soda machine down here, 150. You know, you wanna, but you always wanna check to see if it's something that is worth it why is it so cheap antique soda vending machine currently not working there there's the reason why it's so cheap now if you're handy no cooling units okay you see in parentheses here now that could be a problem but if you're handy you can go and look at it if you think you might get a good deal sometimes it's just people buy a business and the machine is already in there or somebody has an old machine and they just want to get rid of it and there's really nothing wrong with it they just don't know what's wrong with it you could just get a a new uh, coin mechanism or a new bill acceptor or maybe some of the the mechanisms aren't working properly but usually they're simple fixes if you're pretty handy you could do it yourself or you can get somebody that can help you with it okay let's go back up here and let's go back to the original page let's see what else we have here okay I've been seeing a lot of people get into these these charity boxes lately it's not really something that I want to get into personally but you know every person has their own thing what works for them what do we have here another drink machine okay let's keep scrolling up okay here are these u-turn machines again and sometimes you can find some good deals on here you just have to kind of get on here and search let's see what do we have over here I never really like to particularly buy from companies because they always seem to overcharge from what I want to pay here we go we have a gumball machine 150 well don't think I'm gonna be paying 150 for a machine but you can find deals on here $90 for a vending gumball machine I think that's a little bit overpriced myself so you're gonna pay more if you buy a single one though so I just want to add that in if you can find a bulk amount then that's when you're gonna get your best deals $500 Dixie narco soda machine we have a couple machines here for a thousand dollars each 1500 okay let's see here what is this a combo machine 700 we have a coffee machine and it's just really up to you what you're looking for and what you want to get 700 uh, it's not too bad if it's close then you got to think about going to pick it up how you're gonna move it 
who you'd have to pay to get it. So the closer, obviously, the better. But I want to get one for 500 or less. Here we go. Here's an AP. Let me focus in. AP snack vending machine for $500. Maybe something like that, but it's in Orlando. So that's already an hour and a half. That's too far. I don't want to pay $500 plus I have to go pick it up from Orlando or have somebody that's going to cost me more money. So I'm just looking for deals. I'm not in a rush to get anything. So I just wait for a good deal to come up. And they come up. I find them all the time. 800 Fort Lauderdale. Why is that on there? That's way too far. But here are some sticker machines. These are good in some places. I've had people ask me for these. I had it. This might be something I'll look into because it's right here in my area. Ocala, even though it has the Orlando the Orlando sign right here. I had a guy who has a tattoo shop that was interested in one of these. He let me place a gumball machine in his tattoo shop. And he was asking me if I could get him one of these sticker machines. So I've been kind of on the lookout here and there to see if I can find one. Just keep my eyes open for it. But this can really be a good site. There are a few others. You don't have to just only go to Craigslist. Some of the Facebook sites like uh, Offer Up, Let Go, and whatever ones in your area. We have some called, um, what is it? Uh, Ocala Business, Ocala Black Market. It's like 30 different ones. And I go on there and I post my machines, which I sell my little single and double head ones. I'm not selling any more of my, my triple head ones because I'm running low on them. But... I've been doing good. I'm on like 30 different sites and um, I've sold a lot of them already on there. So I know that those sites work good, but there you have it. This is a good tool to use. So if you could just scroll around on your, your vending or not necessarily vending sites, but just sites where people are selling stuff, business sites, you might find some good deals and you don't necessarily have to look in your city. You can look at some of the surrounding cities as well. And let's see what else we have over here. Frozen food. Okay. Frozen food vending machine. This might be good in some some bigger. Oh, looks like it's getting blurry. Let me clear it up. There we go. This might be better in some bigger businesses. There's another charity box. But you get the picture. Okay, I just want to stress this one more time that if you do decide to get a used machine, whatever type of machines you decide you want to get into, and you're getting a used one, make sure that you check it extremely well and make sure there's nothing wrong with it. And if there is something wrong with it, make sure it's an easy fix because you don't want to be out of some money because you decided to go cheap and got something that didn't work when you could have just invested that money with a little bit more and got something a little nicer. So don't get necessarily the cheapest machine, but you don't have to get the most expensive either. I would say somewhere in the middle where the machine, you know that the machine works and it's gonna make your money back faster. Now getting new machines is good, but I wouldn't recommend that in the beginning because obviously you wanna learn the business as you go, decide it's something that you really wanna do instead of making a huge investment from the beginning. And if you buy a new, brand new machine, you're gonna spend a lot of money and it's gonna take a lot longer for you to make your money back and you might just get frustrated and it might be something you don't really wanna follow through with. So just my recommendation is if you're starting, start with something a little cheap, a little new, not necessarily cheap, but less expensive. And just see if you can get a good deal. Search around and maybe you'll find something good and see how you like the business. Place a few of them. See how it works. Don't quit your job. There's a lot of bitches to be watched. Watch on yourself, man. Quit you. I retire. Do this on the side until you get the hang of it. And then if it's something you decide you want to continue to go through with, then you can move up and expand. And again, this is just speaking from my experience and what I did and what's working for me. And you can do however you want to do it, but I hope that I'm giving you some good advice here. I also want to add that whether you've been in the vending business for many, many years and you have a lot of knowledge and know what you're doing already, or whether you're just starting out. And if you have questions and you want answers, you know, because we all come across things that stump us sometimes and we need to ask somebody who knows about it, whether you've been doing it a long time or just getting started. So place your questions in the comments below 
and all you have to do is just scroll all the way down to the bottom of all the little videos at the bottom and it gives you a place to leave comments for those of you who don't know how to leave comments I've had some people say they don't know where the comment box is so just place a comment down there if you have a question and I try to answer all the questions and I'd also like to encourage some of the the other vendors who have been doing it a long time if you have an answer to someone's question down there feel free to answer and give them advice another thing I'm doing is I'm starting something called the founders club which will be my first 1,000 subscribers so what I did was I placed the an automatic subscribe button down here in the corner somewhere and they will be there throughout the entirety of my videos so that any point in the video you can reach down there and hit the subscribe button and there are gonna be a lot of things coming up for the people who were the original 1,000 subscribers and when you hit the subscribe button make sure you leave me a comment down below and tell me that you subscribed I know that I have quite a few people on there already who are always commenting on my page I have um, Richard Binkley, uh, Greg Adams, Sean Hoff, Wayne Hunter, he's always commenting, leaving me good comments. He's got a lot of things going on with his vending business as well. Um, Brian LaRue over with Vending Nation, he's got a lot of good things going on. Um, Farnsworthy Vending, he just started his channel not too long ago. He's doing some big things already, getting started. I got a German guy over in Germany, Eichertiger. Um, He's always commenting and he's been in the business for many years so there's a lot more too um, sorry if I don't mention you but um, yeah just make sure that you leave me a comment down below telling me you subscribe to the new subscribers so I know who's part of the original 1000 founders club and also I'm getting ready to go skydiving soon oh my put that in a video before once I reached a certain mark of my subscribers that I was going skydiving and I haven't been able to get to it yet but now I'm going probably in the next two weeks maybe the weekend after next so be looking forward for that video I'm gonna try to get a gumball machine in the skydiving place maybe they'll let me put one in there and I definitely gotta have my chrome vending shirt on when I jump out of that plane so I'm gonna try to get footage I gotta see what happens see if they let me record it with my own phone um, but yeah, be looking for that video. So if you liked the video, you found it informative, make sure you smash on that thumbs up button, share it with your friends, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you next time I make another video. Hey Steve, pink's a great color on you there, buddy. Shut up, Larry. <laughs>